you Thank missed you. us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. Welcome to the all estrogen version of The Sopranos. <laughs> Well, we love Tony Soprano, but he's kind of a macho guy, so we thought we'd compensate a little bit and talk to the women in his life who are every bit as interesting and sometimes as lethal. You could make a very strong argument that the women are the most interesting characters in the series because they're the ones who have more of the questions in front of them, more of the more moral and ethical dilemmas. Well, the reason I'm asking is that I wonder if Janice, Aida's character, really resents that she doesn't get to run the family. She is the oldest one. I think she always felt that Tony got more, you know, even though she was the older sister, he was the one who got everything, and she, she's always feeling like the world owes her, you know, the family owes her, he owes her, mm -hmm. just the world owes her, she o owes her, she's that type of a person, you know, she expects from the world, she wants to get things before, and she doesn't even want to work for it, you know, she wants to have a free ride, but she feels like she's been done wrong, you know. It seems to me that Carmela is possibly the most interesting character, because she's the one who has questioned more and more mm. what her life is about, what her marriage is about, whether she should stay with him. Right. She's really had all of these dilemmas. Right. Did you see that going in when you, when you started the series, or is this something that's really evolved slowly over the season? No, you know, I'm not in charge of any of that, you know. I, they, I get the scripts, and I am as shocked as the next person about what uh, is asked of me, you know, or, or what Carmela goes through. I mean, I read it like I'm reading, you know, a book. <laughs> um, so, you know, if, if uh, anything that's written, we, it's our job to make happen. So I did, I, you know, I've been as surprised and excited by the twists and turns that she's gone through as, as perhaps an audience member has been. Even though you've been developing these characters all these years, the writers don't come to you and Ugh. talk about anything, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. I've never met these writers. No. <laughs> Who are the writers? No, it's very funny. I mean, sometimes, you know, you have no idea what's going to happen. I mean, I remember they came to me and it was like the first year I was all excited about, oh, wow, I'm on the show and the family and it's all fun. And it was like right before Thanksgiving and David said, look, I just want to let you know in the next episode, um, you know, you're going to do this, you're going to do that, you're going to kill somebody and then you're getting on the bus. I was like, oh, that's like a really cool episode. And I get on the bus and he's like, yeah, you get on the bus. And I was like, so do I come back from the <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, I don't know. So when do you get the scripts? Do you get them just before you do Day that episode? Before, yeah. We I get mean, them really not very far in advance. Few well, days you have to be fair. David, if you have something really big, I know. Well, something we really had the, big. You know, when he, I had the rape, you know, scene. Right. Well, he gave me that script well before. Well, you had one of the really most intense um, episodes ever in The Sopranos when your character was raped. That was really pretty intense. Oh, very heavy. Thank you. Thank you. And, and did, you, did that have anything to do with the themes of violence in the whole series? I mean, did, did you. The, See that as part of Tony Soprano's life, that violence is just everywhere? Well, the only thing I could say is when David first said that to me, I was like, oh, why would you hurt me? I'm the only mm -hmm. decent person here. <laughs> How could you hurt me? And he says, no, it's random. And he said, random? Oh, thank you. And um, he said, read the script and call me. And I really didn't understand it until it was the last word when she said, no, I have right. nothing to tell you. And I realized it was all a moral issue with Melfi. Now, I was going to ask the rest of you whether people identify with your characters or do they come up to you and say, oh, I'm just like Janice. A lot of people are all, they were really into when I killed Richie. I mean, I was like, <laughs> they were like, that was great when you killed him. <laughs> I mean, they really, they was like, I was like, oh, okay, okay. I, I killed somebody, but that was great, you know. A lot of people. Why did like they that. think it was so great that you killed him? Was it because he hit you, or just because they want equal time for women to be killers on the show? I think because what? he hit me, and because I think it was that kind of stand up for yourself. I think our know. characters all live like very much in the moment. Like they don't have much remorse, or don't maybe think right. twice. And I, it, I think it's amazing that the viewers can live so in the moment with us because I mean there you are rooting for Tony Soprano you love him so much and you forgot that he killed a guy three scenes ago <laughs> because you see him hugging his you know kids yeah, and exactly. saying they love them and you love him again so yeah. it's 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 amazing that we can take the That's audience with us. That's one of the brilliant us. things about the show I think yes. that you well, really I've always yeah. said it was Ozzy and Harriet of the millennium when we came out. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean <laughs> 
<laughs> Ozzie and Harriet's maybe a stretch, but okay. <laughs> yeah. The Sopranos is really recognized as one of the great television series now. And to, to be on something like that is really kind of momentous. Does it change your life as well as opening doors in your career? I don't know if I, I, I don't know if any of us really grasp, I mean, we understand yeah. the level of success, but I don't think any of us really grasp, which is a good thing, like yes. how big it is. Mm -hmm. I just think of it more as like personally, and you know, obviously for my career, but more personally what this show has done for me. I mean, I've been through so much through all these years, these eight years, and I just wouldn't trade it for the world, but I, you know, everything happens for a reason, but Sopranos saved my life in a lot of ways and gave me so much and helped me grow in so many ways personally, and that's the way I'll always remember it.